Hello, I'm Tim. Welcome to the Music Cell. Uh, this is day eight of my 30 day vinyl uh, challenge. Today I have another uh, four albums that I haven't, uh, for my vinyl collection that I haven't spun before. Uh, I'll start. It. Well, to you, before I start showing you them, uh, Last night down at the uh, Facebook uh, group uh, for the YouTube uh, the vinyl community, David Turlwitz, his, uh, his YouTube uh, page is at Sequoia Flame. Uh, he was, uh, he declared it uh, Thrifty Thursday, where he was posting uh, Posting uh, pictures of albums that he got from th and uh, spinning albums that he got from thrift stores, and he was uh, trying uh, getting other people to uh, post uh, stuff that they got from thrift stores. Well, I've uh, commented to him that uh, the majority of my collection I got from thrift stores, uh, and I have over thirteen hundred albums. Well, all these. Uh, Albums that I'm showing you today are most round out these albums that I'm showing you during this whole challenge I got in, in thrift sto at thrift stores or flea markets, garage sales, or from, from like uh, given to me or from you know, some from people or I got them uh, from from uh, like a dollar bin or bargain bin. Well, anyway, uh, this, uh, so, I'll, all these albums I'm showing you today, I uh, paid a dollar or less for each and every one of these. Okay, to start off, it's from 1967 on Capitol. It's the Stone Ponies featuring Linda Ronstadt. Yes, it's uh, Linda Ronstadt's uh, pretty much her debut album. Now, uh, it's her with uh, she's with the it's her with the group the Stone Ponies. It's this is uh, pretty much like uh, folk rock or country rock. It's uh, it's uh, more folk than uh, what uh, you what you're used to hearing or uh, singing, but. It is a real good album. There weren't any hits off this one, but I thoroughly enjoyed this album. It's just good to have for the have for the entire album. Next up, this one. I did not break the seal until today. Yes, it was sealed when I sealed when I bought it. It's from nineteen seventy. 87 on RCA. It's a Judd's Heartland. Yes, this is a country. Uh, it's uh, for those of you that uh, don't know, it's uh, Naomi and Winona Judd. Uh, Naomi's uh, mother, Winona's uh, daughter. Uh, uh, they were. They put out quite a few albums in the 80s. They had a bunch of hits and uh, uh, they had to, they had a, uh, like four hits off this album like they that they had a hit do, doing a cover of Elvis Presley's Don't Be Cruel on here and also the, the song uh, Turn It Loose and I, <laughs> Maybe Your Baby's Got the Blues and I know where I'm going are all hits off this album. It's a real good album. Uh, and, uh, I know, and Demi Lou Harris uh, appears on uh, on this album uh, also. But it's just a good album from the 80s overall. Next up, uh, a Canadian band to have Lighthouse from 1971 on uh, 
evolution. This is uh, One Fine Morning. The song One Fine Morning uh, was a hit off this one. It's, uh, I've had to, I paid like 10 cents for this album. It's my first time listening to Lighthouse. I've had it in my collection for a while. I got this, uh, when I bought this, I bought over a hundred albums that day. So you can understand why I probably hadn't gone to this one. It was in my collection and it's just what I hadn't gone to and I got a lot to that, uh, after getting this. So I just hadn't gone to listening to it. But I, I really enjoyed, thoroughly enjoyed listening to this. It's uh, pretty much uh, pop rock, jazz rock, uh, and I like it that, that it has like uh, horns in it, but it also has like uh, viola and cello in it also. And like I've said in some uh, uh, videos, I used to play violin, so with them combining the strings in it, that's something I like to hear uh, combined with rock. And uh, I just thoroughly enjoyed listening to this album. You know, hearing the strings that combined with the uh, rock instruments. The last one's from 1978 on Portrait. It's uh, Burton Cummings. Uh, who uh, was uh, in uh, the Guess Who? At the album, the name of the album is uh, "Dream of a Child." This is from '78. Before this, and from in '77, he had uh, the other album that he had the hit "Stand Tall" off. That I do have that album in my collection now. So this one, he had. Uh, uh, t uh, song that made it into the top 100 called Break It To Them Gently and then uh, the song uh, Takes a Fool to Love a Fool made it to number 33 on the country charts but uh, here he does uh, Guns, Guns, Guns which uh, is a song he wrote that the guess who uh, took to number 70 in the Hot 100 back in 1972. And he also does a cover of When a Man Loves a Woman on here. What I found interesting on here, uh, some of the songs on here, a former, uh, I guess who uh, member with them, uh, Randy Bachman, or Bachman, I don't know how you pronounce it, uh, plays guitar on. Other songs, Jeff Skunk Baxter, yes, formerly of uh, of uh, Steely Dan, uh, of course, Ultimate Spinach, Steely Dan, and uh, the Doobie Brothers uh, plays on. And also on drums, Jim Gordon, Gordon who was in uh, Derek and the Dominoes, and uh, also uh, Jeff Porcaro of Toto played on drums. So he had some uh, bigger name musicians uh, backing him up on this album. And of course uh, uh, Burton uh, plays keyboards on it. Uh, but to, it, it is a good album through, uh, all the way through it. And uh, like I said a lot uh, all these albums I got uh, like in uh, thrift stores or uh, from dollar bins and stuff like that and and uh, I most of my videos I have uh, you know, call it uh, Tim's thrifty music uh, that's because uh, I have two years ago this month I started uh, uh, Facebook group called uh, Thrifty Music Collectors. If you're interested in uh, joining that group, you just search for uh, do search for Thrifty Music Collectors. Click the join button and uh, oh, uh, 
when I see the request, I'll pop, I'll usually add you uh, to the group if I'll j as long as I can see that you are a music enthusiast. So until uh, until next time, most likely tomorrow. Take it easy and keep on rocking.